Okay, so just wait one minute, I am starting. Okay, so let's start. So last class we have to discuss uh, these different types of components of a process control industries or process control plan. So I think it is also clear all of you. So anyone any doubt or any questions, so please ask me. So just recall them. So this is a basically, uh, components we have to use in our process control industries. This is first we have to use a sensor or transmitter part, which is primary and secondary control unit. Okay, then we have to use the controller part, which is the brain of the any control system. This is a controller part, which takes the decision of maintain the process variable at the desired value or set point also. Okay, next we have to use there is a final control element. This final control element, it is a uses different types of, we have to use as different types of valve, different types of conveyors, different types of electric motors, okay? And different types of variable speed type, motor, speed control motor we have to use. This. So these type of uh, different uh, components we have to use in our process control industries, which is take the action for implemented the decision taken by the controller part. Again, we have to use this in our process control industry that is the automatic process control system. So this automatic process control system, which has following components or parts. First one we have to discuss that is a control variable or process variable. Number two, that is set point SP or reference point. Number third, manipulated variable. And number four, disturbance variable. So First one we have to discuss that is control variable or process variable. So this control variable or process variable that must be controlled or maintained at some desired value or desired point. That's like we have to use this in our previous example that is steer tank temperature control system or, or liquid level uh, control systems. So these are the basically control variable or process variable we have to control the uh, or maintain the some desired value. Next one that is a set point or SP or reference point. Okay, so this is another one. This point, this reference point or set point is desired value of the control variable, which is maintained the all time. Okay, that means we have to particular set a point. Okay, in that set point or you have to set the one goal. Okay, so this is done by the set point or reference point. 
Number third, that is a manipulated variable. So this manipulated variable, it is the variable which is used to maintain uh, the control variable or it is the set point. Okay, so this valve position in our app, in given example, that is a water pump control system or steer tank heating system. So this is controlled by the uh, manipulated variable. Another one is the disturbance, this, which is, what is disturbance? Disturbance is, is a, a, any variable that uh, causes the different variation in the control variable, okay? So there are number of disturbances we have to use as any process loops. That means we have to use as the uh, inlet temperature in the given examples previous given, inlet process flow or outlet process flow or any heat content that is a heat exchanger. So these are the basically disturbance, okay? This is clear all of you. These are the basic questions. What is the component we have to use as the process control system or industries? It is clear. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So second class uh, attendance is very low. So please, uh, anyone please uh, give the message. So again joining the class so so network issues are sir happening sir with other students okay, network issues okay but uh, till now we have to showing that percentage is very very low sir unable to join sir. okay so next another another part we have to discuss transfer function of the control system okay so all of you some given idea from the control section that is a transfer function. So this is another one transfer function here you can see this is a block diagram of a, any transfer function equations. So this transfer function it has two parts. One is the input part another one is the output part. So in this pictures we have to denote this input that is MS another one is the output that is the ys okay so this is the basically output equations there is a transfer function of a given format this is gs that is equal to ys by ms that means output by input okay so i think it is all of you done all of you uh, idea is given so this transfer function of a control system it is a relationship between the input signal and the output signal and it is defined the ratio of the output signal divided by the input signal okay so we have to easily write that is the transfer function it is the ratio between the output variable to the input variable so that's how you have to write it that is gs equal to that is ys by ms that is output variable by input variable so this transfer function it consists of two parts or that is a it is relation between the output and input variable so this output and input signals are variable and timing between the input and the output signals also so here one timing format or timing cycles it is also related in this transfer function equations so in case of linear component and sinusoidal input signals the size relationship is measured by the gain okay and timing measured by the phase difference so please remember these things when we have to uh, consider the linear component and sinusoidal input signals in the input part and size of the relationship between the gain so here one is the another one that is a gain another one is the phase difference so please Remember these two equations also. What is the gain of the transfer function? So gain is the ratio between the amplitude of the output signal to the amplitude of the input signal. Okay. So how it is calculated? So these are the basically basic formula. One question is also arising or some short question is arising. What is transfer gain or transfer function gain? Okay. So the gain is the transfer function gain it is the ratio between the amplitude of the output signal to the amplitude of the input signal okay another one is the what is phase difference of the transfer function equations so this phase difference it is a 
another one which we shown that is a difference between the output phase angle to the input phase angle okay so this is called the phase difference so here you can see this is a three questions what is transfer functions what is the mathematical equation or expression of the transfer functions then we have to ask that is the, what is the gain of this transfer functions equations or another one question what is phase difference of the transfer function so please remember these three equations i am repeating one thing one thing again transfer function that is gs equal to output variable by input variable that means gs equal to ys by ms in this example another one what is the gain of the transfer function equations the gain is the transfer gain it is the ratio between the amplitude of the output signal to the amplitude of the input signal okay and what is the phase difference of the transfer function equation phase difference is difference between the output phase angle to the input phase angle so this is a phase difference okay it is clear all of you please response me anyone it is clear or not yes sir so anyone any questions or any doubt so please also ask me okay no sir okay next we have to continue so uh, all of you all of you known in our uh, control system we have to classify into two loop that is the one is the open loop system another one is the closed loop control system okay so here we can see that is a open loop control system so in this example here you can see this is a water level controller pump so this is a basically flow that is a inlet inlet flow where the fluid or liquid is inlet into this valve this is a valve input valve okay and this water is filled by this tank and here you can see one is the outflow or outlet valve we have to use is where the fluid or liquid is outlet from here also okay and these are the basically two point that is the one is desired level which is which is denoted by the cd that means these are basically called the reference point or set point this desired level or cd point it is called the reference point or uh, set point also okay another one is the actual level that is also considered as ca this actual level that is it, it is actually we have to control this level also so in it is a open loop control actions or control system the input has no control over the output that is a control variable as shown in figure here so it is required to maintain the actual water level that is ca is the tank that is the actual level of the liquid level and these are the basically desired level that is a cd we have to use it and water flow into the tank through the valve that is a vi that is a inlet valve okay and flow out from the tank via the vo this is another valve which is output at the liquid also so in this picture here you can see this is a open loop control system that means when the water is inlet the water is filled for by the tank but in that case it is not automatically uh, any signals you have to give and the motor is stop or not so this is called the no feedback loop that is here no feedback element it is uses here so that's why it is called the open loop control systems okay and here one limitations of this uh, open loop control system is that difference between the desired and actual level so this is a basically error here you can see this is the basically uh, desired level and these are the basically actual level so these are the basically difference between the desired level and actual level so this is called the one error so we have to conclude this is the basically error we have to denote it e, e equal to that is a cd minus ca where cd is the desired level these are the basically desired level and another one ca is the actual level so this type of error is coming in this open loop control system and it gets developed due to the disturbance acting on the system and parameter variations of this system so this is a open loop control system now 
now we have to uh, consider the block diagram of open loop control system so here you can see this is a basically one um, block diagram of the open loop control system this is the input sections where the input it is also attached that is also uh, one reference or set point we have to also call this is denoted by the rt okay then this is a connected one another block that is a controller part where we have to use different types of control algorithm or controller control part we have to use this is called the controller part this controller part which is uh, give the output to the process or plan this is also manipulated variable it is called the manipulated variable this manipulated variable which is uh, send the signals to the process or plan this process or plan it is Uh, given the input outside that is a disturbance this is disturbance i am telling in previous classes also disturbance that is a different types of loads different types of input loads according to quantity according to quality we have to change this different types of load so this is called that disturbance we have to be noted here that is dt okay so this process which is process the out uh, sorry which is senses the signals of the manipulated variable and load that is a disturbance then finally it is given the output from the output here also so this is called the output that is uh, considered here ct this is control variable okay so this is a basically open loop control system and where you can see no feedback loop we have to use in the output sections to the reference or set point okay so that time of different types of error or different types of deform it is coming from the open loop control systems okay so we have to coming this point that is what is advantage and disadvantage of this open loop and open loop control system so advantage is it is very simple system to design okay so over the compare uh, compared to the closed loop control system because closed loop control system we have to use as different any other components that is final control element and this is also used as sensor transducer circuit and also one feedback loop we have to use this so in the corresponding this view this open loop control system it is simple system to design okay and what is the disadvantage of this open loop control system this open loop control system the output has no control over the output of the control variable okay so this is a another one disadvantage so in the open loop control system the disadvantage is the output has no control output has no control over the output control variable okay it is clear all of you yes sir this is called the open loop control system okay next another one we have to coming that is closed loop control system so uh, this is a basically closed loop control system so here you can see this is a basically one uh, block diagram we have to use this and that is a uh, feedback control system sometime it is also called that is closed loop control system it is also called the uh feedback control systems and this is a one example we have to give in here uh, this is the finally block diagram of the closed loop control system or feedback control system so in this picture here you can see this first one this is the basically uh, desired plant or uh, where the process variable we have to give in here that is the input variable sometimes it is called that is a reference point or set point also which is uh, connected to the uh, controller part okay so this controller part which is which is sends the input signal from the desired plant or process then this controller part which is senses the uh, reference input or uh, set point input then control inputs we have to give into the process or plant this process or plant which is connected another one that is a disturbance that is a load we have to given then this is also Uh, finally process the desired uh, output sorry desired input that is a load and the control input signals then finally process the output from the output sections but in this closed loop or feedback loop system we have to uh, connected another connections this is 
also measured output these are the is output sections this output section it is connected to another one measurement that is that is called the feedback loop systems this feedback it is connected to the reference point or set point so this is called the uh, closed loop control system or feedback control system so here the error is caused by this disturbance input and parameter variations and imperfect modeling also so this feedback also affects other system performance characteristics such as stability sensitivity and overall gain of the process so this is basically all important terms so this error it is caused by the difference input this sorry disturbance input also parameter variations and imperfect modeling and this feedback also affect the system performance characteristics such as stability sensitivity and overall gain of the process so this block diagram or feed it is a closed loop control system or feedback control system it is a regulating temperature of a room so when you have to use this room temperature control system this type of device we have to control here so this is a temp different temperature parameter we have to select it from here 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree 40 etc this is a hot water we have to given here this is a one valve we have to attachable here then this valve it is controlled controlled to the uh, from desired sections for also this is calibrated uh, by the potentiometer just wait one minute okay uh, so this is a basically one examples where we have to control the different temperatures from the from these sections so this is a calibrated potentiometer we have to control or we have to select the desired temperature that sometimes that is you have to select it, the temperature from uh, the user sections from using this potentiometer then this is control the valve which is control the heating element this is a heater that means when you have to select the 40 degree celsius so at that time this is heated the desired temperature then the room is heated from the particular desired input you have to use okay so when you have to control the uh, temperature level it is below this temperature is also slowly decreases so this is the basically temperature uh, control device which is controlled by the feedback loop systems that means one temperature sensor or transducer we have to use as here which is senses the particular temperature user is set to the desired input sections okay so particular desired input section when user it is selected then otherwise it is also changes so this room temperature control system we have to denote it the block diagram this room temperature control system here you can see so this is the basically block diagram of a room temperature control system this is the input section we have to denote it here that is rt and this input section it is also uh, set uh, sorry it is uh, attachable in the one reference input or set point we have to know and this reference input it is also given one another signal to the control algorithms that means the controller part this is the controller part here you can see this dotted line this reference input this algorithm part that is the control algorithm block another one is that we have to use this here that is actuator that is valve okay this is the basically valve it is it is undoable in this actuator part so this is a controller part which is control the overall temperatures okay then this is finally given the signal to the room temperature control system this is the here you can see this is the room temperature control system that means this is called the process or plant okay this is called the process or plant where 
you have to give in or user you have to give in the signals or anything is controllable in this process of plan and any any other loads we have to also uh, loaded here or inputted here this is called the disturbance this is denoted by the vt then this is finally is inputted uh, controlled control controlled by this room temperature control system then this is also finally given the control output signals from here that is ct okay and another one we have to want sensor transducer part this is called the feedback loop okay this feedback loop that is a sensor transducer part we have to connect it here this is control this is connected another one there is a reference point or set point so this sensor or transducer part which is senses the input temperature of the room temperature then this room temperature it is also detected then this this detected temperature that is output temperature the same as given set point or not okay so this is a basically work done by this feedback loop so this is example of feedback control system of room temperature control systems okay it is clear all of you yes sir so this type of question it is also coming in your exams so um, question is coming at that at that type uh, we have to discuss the open loop control system action with one examples or sometime it is also coming uh, discuss the closed loop or feedback control system in the desired example so at that time you have to draw the block diagram part as well as given the examples also okay now another one part that is this advantage and disadvantage of this closed loop control systems so uh, all of you know a system we have to use as it has some advantage and also little bit also disadvantage it is also present so first one advantage it is very simple technique that compensates for all disturbances also okay so this is a first one advantage it is very simple technique that we have to use as in components for all disturbances value that means any any types of load any types of load you have to use as uh, in this disturbance variables also another one number 2 the controller adjust the control variable with the set point also that means reference point or set point where user or you that is we we have to set the particular temperature setting or particular desired input we have to selected here so this is a basically one uh, advantage over the uh, open loop control system so in the closed loop control system the controller adjusts the control variable with the set point also number third the feedback control loop does not care for the disturbance entering into the process okay it tries only to maintain the control variable at set point by compensating for all disturbances that means this feedback loop when we have to use as any feedback loop that is a feedback control loop it does not care for the disturbance entering into the process so it is also tries only to maintain the control variable at set point by compensating for all disturbances also okay so these are the basically advantage of the closed loop control systems another one next that is a disadvantage what is the basic disadvantage of the closed loop control system first one it does not take corrective actions until after the disturbance has upset the process and generated an error signal okay so first one it does not take corrective actions until after the disturbance has upset the process or generated error signal this is another one disadvantage so when we have to select the particular desired point this is not take the corrective actions until after the disturbance has upset the process results number 2 the feedback controller continue changing its output until measurement and set point are in agreement so one little bit little bit disadvantage it is also when you have to use this feedback controller uh, loop or path so it is continue changing the output 
okay that means some slowly a little bit uh, input measurable value it is changes or weather condition it is changes or human error it is also also coming so that slowly that is a that little bit error it is also coming from this feedback controller part this feedback controller continue changing its output until measurement and set point at the agreement source number third it solves the problem by trial and error method and thus causes oscillatory response of a feedback loop so that means when we have to use a feedback loop systems here are we have to use as in trial and error method that is correctively the oscillatory response of the feedback loop systems okay so this is the basically advantage of the closed loop and open loop control system so more or less we have to use this in our process industries that is closed loop control system or feedback control systems okay it is clear all of you anyone yes. any doubt yes. or any questions so please ask me everyone write your own name and roll number in the chat box also and uh, vishnu you take a one skin shot please and after ending the class please send the skin shot next 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 point what does a large time constant mean okay so large time constant it is another one when the time constant we have to discuss in previous uh, more classes this time space variables also okay so this time constant it is a measure of how slowly a capacitor charges with current flowing through the resistors okay so this large time constant means the capacitor charges slowly okay so you can use this different types of circuits that is capacitor you have to use is resistor inductor different types of so this time constant it is a measure of how slowly a capacitor charges with the current flow through a resistor a large time constant means the capacitor charge slowly okay and it is not that the time constant it is a proper time constant it is a property of the circuit containing the capacitor and resistor also so it is not property of the capacitor alone so this is called the basically large time constant when the uh, power is off so that type charge capacitor is discharges also okay another one question it is also um, coming what is time constant and what is its significance okay so time constant of a any given circuit that is rc circuit or rlc circuit okay so this time constant of rl circuit it tells us how fast or how slow is the growth or decay of current in the rl circuit okay so this is called the time constant variable so low value of time constant indicates that the growth and decay are fast large values of time constant it indicate that growth and decay the current in the current are it is slow so this is called the time constant and this is our basically significance of this time constant variable so this time constant of rl circuit it tells as the how fast or how slow is the growth or decay of current in the rl circuits okay next another one what is interaction okay so this interaction uh, it is a instrument and it is a mediator or two way transducer between the user and domain objects okay so this interaction this interact means when you have to use as different types of instrument that means you have to use as a speed control motor you, you motor uh, you have to use as different controller valve you have to use as different uh, conveyor belts you have to use as different types of 
uh, instrument we have to use. So this interaction, the one by one into the inter instruments parts also. So this interaction instruments, it is a mediator or two way transducer between the user and domain objects also. Okay. So this user acts on the instrument which transform the user actions into the comments affecting affecting relevant target domain objects also. So this is called the interaction part. Okay. It is clear all of you. Yes, sir. Okay, so anyone, any questions or any doubts, so please ask me. So, uh, we have covered in module one. Okay, so in your module one, we have to discuss in um, first day to till now, today classes. We have to cover the module one. So, and the rest of the class notes we have, I have up, uh, uploaded in your Google Classroom. So everyone read this carefully. Anyone any doubts? So please ask me in other classes also. And another supporting topics we have to also discuss in next classes also. Okay, because in your syllabus there are particular uh, selective point or selective topics we have to given. But uh, in the selective topics it does not clear the idea of the total uh, overview or total idea of this process control industries or plants okay so we have to also uh, discuss in any other topics in also day by day another part also okay so everyone write your own name and rule number in the chat box also and Krishna Dev, please take a screenshot, participant list, and please everyone tell your friends also for join the class because this is very important for all of you. Okay. And also uh, attendance, it is also very, very important. Okay. So anyone, any questions, so please ask me. So anyone, any doubt or any questions, please ask me. Otherwise, I conclude the class also. <laughs>